Hey, we're down on the sidelines here with a very happy head football coach, uh, Terry Bowden. Uh, coach, we talked about it. This is a brand new season. You're 1-0. That's the way to start it, right? You know, that's what I told our players. You know, going into this game, we hadn't lost any of our goals. Our goal to try to win the East, try to win the MAC, and try to, to go to a bowl. But but getting you get, getting into the MAC conference and getting your first win. And Bowling Green has been on eight years. They've beaten Akron against, uh, through a lot of times. And so it's good for that to happen for these young men. I think most the big, most impressive I was is we came out and, and had, turned, had messed, turned the very first ball over and got behind. And yet the kids would not. You would think maybe you had a couple of losses, the last couple of them that were so tight, they wouldn't have been able to come back, but they came right back, made the touchdown play, and then defensively, uh, Kyron Brown made the big interception. And then we made key first downs to, to keep the clock running. The offense stayed on the field. Up until that last drive, we stayed on the field, gave them no chance. That's the point I was going to make, Coach. One week ago, yeah. we were one first down away from right. maybe beating Troy. Tonight, we're in pretty much the same situation. The point differential is different, but you put it away by getting first down. Well, that was important, too. You know, we lost Warren Ball broke his ankle today. We lost him for the season. Uh, but you know the uh, the running backs that uh, played so hard. You know last year those running backs came up and played hard last year as well. So Van Edwards, uh, Manny Morgan, those guys did an outstanding job. Uh, talk about the depth. That's that's just a. Uh tough break with Warren Ball, but yeah. you got some depth at running back, and they showed it tonight. They get to the hole very quickly and run hard. Yeah, all three of our running backs coming back last year. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm sick for Warren, uh, but this football team's got good linemen, good running backs, and our running game didn't slow down uh, once that happened. So again, uh, we prayed for him in the, in the locker room after the game, uh, and, uh, and now we pull together as a team, keep on going. One of the biggest uh, hits of the game was a guy we're going to talk to in a minute, Alvin Davis. Looked like they were going to win for a touchdown. He made the big pop at the two. They had to settle for a field goal, and that was huge. Well, pound for pound, there's probably not anybody that tackles and hits harder than Alvin Davis. As a freshman last year playing in and now stepping in as a sophomore, and he's one of the hardest hitters, surest tacklers, toughest guys on our football team, and I'm sure glad he's, he's an Akron zip. He kind of threw Bowling Green a curveball in that first half by throwing Cato Nelson at him. I don't think they were ready for that, and they had to call a timeout to kind of get uh, – geared up again. Well, it really worked well. I mean, we got in there, and sometimes you try that stuff, and it doesn't work, but it got us a good drive going, and we were able to get a touchdown out of that drive. Then we used, the, the, we used Woody for the same place. Yeah. He's not as fast, but it's still great plays for him, too, so it's good to get our backup quarterback some work, too and get them an opportunity to, to contribute to the offense. When the game was on the line, the defense really played well. I mean, uh, the Bowling Green was moving the ball offensively, uh, passing the ball, run the ball, but the defense came up strong. Really did. I think the, the, there was a, the, play, the early part of the third quarter where they got some points. We turned the ball over. They got three, I think, or they got seven, then they got three. But defense held on and played great in the fourth quarter, great in the first half. So it was a team effort. You know, we really, we really lucky. Even our special teams came up because we let a lot, a lot, lot of returns in the first half. They had a kick two kickoff returns, a punt return the first half. They had hurt us, but we really we really sealed that up and did a great job of correcting those mistakes. Last Sunday morning during the TV show, you told me we got to get the tight ends involved, and you got them involved tonight. Yeah, it was great to see Newman Williams, Kobe uh, Kobe uh, Booker got into play, and then, of course, uh, Brandon Junk got some good block in. So you got to get them to catch some footballs. I think if you're going to use them in there, they're eligible receivers. They've got to get involved in our, in our passing game. You know, people will talk about the schedule. I don't know if you've heard, Coach, Troy shutting out LSU 17 to nothing tonight. Well, you know, Troy's a very good football team. But he, that shocks me a lot there. Uh, but, you know, Troy was a very good football team, and, uh, and and a lot of people up north don't realize that. And, uh, you know, we were, we were 20 to 14 against Iowa State, and they're, they're not bad. They, they didn't lose bad to Texas last night, and then Troy's pretty good. But the key is, you know, you got to play each game one at a time. Tonight it was Bowling Green. That's the game we had to win. That's the game we won. Couldn't have come at a better time, Coach. You got Ball State at home next Saturday. Hope to make a run right now. Well, right, right now we got to focus on one game and one game only. That's getting ready to play Ball State. There you go, Coach. Enjoy this one. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks, Jeff. Part of this secondary that has probably played as well as any group on the football team this year. Kyron, tell us about the pick. I mean, that was the big one. That sealed the deal tonight. And uh, people up the press box are saying you kind of played a little decoy on him and popped in and took it. Tell us how this whole thing happened. Uh, well, I, they had ran that play on me like a couple times. And both times they were completions. And we were in nickel man free. So I just I took a chance and it worked out. My team needed to play. I came up big for him. That was not an easy catch. You had to go down about the kneecaps and get that one instead of coming right at you. But uh, you got some pretty good hands for a cornerback. It had to feel good, didn't it? Yeah, it felt amazing, man. My teammates always joke. We always joke about who had the best hands on the team. I'm always saying I do, so I just needed to catch that one for them. Maybe the biggest play of the game tonight, they're down the rate of going to the end zone, down about the two-yard line. You had one of the biggest hits of the night. Tell us what you saw and how you got to the ball carrier so quick. Uh, I was talking to Bell before that play. You know, communication is key, and he told me to he's going to fit 
get inside and just come up hard outside of them, and I'll be there. That was a huge hit. That, that looked like they were going in for a touchdown. They had to settle for a field goal, and that uh, really was one of the keys to this game. Tell us the, the attitude you come into with football. You're not the biggest guy in the world, but you can come up with some of the biggest hits every game. Is that uh, all preparation, uh, watching tape, or just some ordinary toughness? Uh, it's kind of a little bit of both. You know, I, I, I played offense uh, in Little League, so like being offense, I don't want to get hit. So I assume that's how they want to, so I just try and bring it to them every chance I get.